doctor, give me the news. Coming up next. Everybody's pregnant, except for me. We really want to have our own child. People don't want to talk about it. It's a very, very scary thing. Is having a baby today harder than ever? When all else fails, what's next? For couples struggling with infertility, the struggle for a baby can take a toll not only on finances, their relationship, but sometimes even their sanity. We've been trying to have a baby since our wedding day, and over two years later, still no baby. We just celebrated a four-year anniversary, and I was an old lady when I got married. I was 41, so we've literally been trying since we got married. We've had two miscarriages, five rounds of Clomid, one insemination, and two rounds of IVF so far. We decided to go with egg donor because I was not producing a lot of eggs. So we did three transfers. The first one didn't take, the second one was a chemical pregnancy, and the third one was a miscarriage. Everybody's pregnant. Girl down the street, all my friends, everybody on Facebook. I mean, literally everybody's pregnant, except for me. I sabotaged our marriage last year. Fertility does that to a woman. I felt like no matter what I said or did, I was gonna be wrong. Our struggle with fertility has caused a lot of tension. All these women tell you it's the most natural thing in the world. I want to punch them in the face because, you know what, it's not natural for a lot of people. A lot of the doctors said you have unexplained infertility, which I literally hate that phrase because it's saying you have a problem but we don't know what it is, so sorry. You're hopped up on meds, they're manipulating your body, and I'm still not pregnant. The doctor said the reason why you can't have kids is because my eggs are the eggs of like a 45 year old woman. There is a small chance that you'll ever be able to have your own babies and I, I lost it. And so, you know, when he says that, um, I feel like the world just caved in on me. I represented a couple baby lines. Um, I kept clothes that are in, you know, my closet. Uh -huh. Cause you know, I thought one day I'll have a baby to put the clothes on. Joining us today in the audience are Alexis and Gabe and Lindsley and Jonathan. Also joining us is another couple, Sunsaray and Eric. They have also been struggling to get pregnant. We also have board certified reproductive endocrinologist, Dr. John Jane with us today. Thank you all so much for sharing your story and being with us today. Definitely. Thank, thank you, ladies. You know, for, for really showing us what an emotional experience this is. Okay. Now, where are you all in this process? Well, we tried injectables. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's okay. We really want to have our own, our own child. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, there's no family um, history of infertility at all. Okay. And um, I've been diagnosed with PCOS. Okay. Um, and, but we've never tried IVF. Okay. And so ha you guys have tried all these different options. Have you decided that you want to continue further? Because a lot of people get in involved and say this is too much emotionally and back out. Are you all dedicated to the process? We are. We don't want to give up. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, and it sounds like we've got the right guy to, to, yeah. to help. You know, polycystic ovarian syndrome is really a, a situation where there's too much of the male hormone in the ovary. And that uh, it... it inhibits the egg follicles from growing and ovulating. So if you don't ovulate, it, it becomes difficult to get pregnant. But you know, there's a, it's one of the most treatable forms of infertility. That's the good news and you're young. So you really should have a lot of hope for it. You know, and, and it's, it's important to notice, you know, we have three very special couples with us today, but fertility issues affects a lot of people. And it's not always the woman. Sometimes, you know, a third of the time it's a gentleman, a third of the time it's women, and then a third, third of the time they never even really figure out what the fertility issue is. And you not only work with the heterosexual couples, you probably work with the gay male couples mm -hmm. who find surrogates. So fertility is something that everybody is really dealing with and struggling with, and these women Women in particular are having a difficult time with it. How, so tell us a little bit about when there is a fertility issue, how, what's the percentage of women that actually end up pregnant? Yeah, ultimately it's pretty high, it's over two thirds. Okay. Uh, but you know, Rachel, one really important point, it's about getting good education early in the process okay. and asking the right questions is such a, a difficult and complex area, patients often get lost and get um, demoralized. Sure. And one of the things that we wanna focus on this year is, is not just the process of trying 
to get pregnant. It's it's the emotional toll which we have so the journey poignantly shown today. I mean, in, in all of your eyes, I can see the toll it has taken. I, I imagine you're part-time counselor as well in what you mm -hmm. do, because that emotional toll can wreak havoc not only on the relationship, but in some cases even the potential to get pregnant. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely. Um, it does wreak havoc on, on couples and relationships. It's about a baby, about building a family. It's very much at the core of our human existence. Have you all spoken to other couples going through the same thing? So our first Absolutely. Meeting them. Yeah, I have a friend going through it right now. She's got married at 40, and um, so she just started the process. And um, I sat her down and kind of just told her what I've learned in four years, and she said, I learned more from you in a half an hour than I learned with seven doctor visits. Mm -hmm. um, you have to talk to people, you know, and when I had a miscarriage, I, um, I actually did a video on it because I just, I had to release the information. I was mm -hmm. just, I was just, it was consuming me. And I did it and um, so many of my friends came out of the woodwork and was like, oh, I had a miscarriage. Oh, I had two miscarriages. Because people don't want to talk about it. It's a very, very scary thing. Are any of you talking with a therapist? Because I know this is really difficult on both of you, your husbands, yourself, you know, you guys are arguing. There's not as much intimacy. You're just trying to get pregnant. So it's really tough for, the, for you all to continue to get along through the process. So how have you guys decided to manage that part of it? I found a support community online. Nice. Um, similar to her as blogging really helped me and finding so many other women and couples in our same situation. And even though you don't wish it on anybody else, it's kind of comforting to know that you're not alone. Eric, as you sit up here with Sun Saray and, and you saw her tearing up just watching the story of these other couples, I'm assuming that, that you also in many ways feel helpless. Yeah, because nothing I could do for her. You know, how many times you can rub her on the back and say it's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Just, just hell. You're a great guy, Eric. It's just a great guy. So we're going to be doing something special this year and we're gonna be following all three of these couples on their journey to share with all of you at home, not only the emotional struggle they're going through, but also hopefully the hope as they continue this process. And we can't thank you all enough for sharing your story. We are all wishing you the best of luck. Dr. John Jane, thank you for joining us. We'll be right back. Thanks.